may be familiar with the acronym LGBTQIA+. And if you're not, don't worry. But in this video, we'll examine a slightly modified acronym to discuss just sexual orientations, LGBTQ+. Let us have a closer look at what each letter stands for. Let's start with L. Lesbian, a term usually referring to a woman who is exclusively or primarily attracted to other women. Next up is G for gay. Gay usually refers to a man who is exclusively or primarily attracted to other men. It can also be used for any person who is primarily same gender attracted, or even refer to queer culture, for example gay bars. Bisexual usually refers to someone who is attracted to two or more genders. Bisexual is also an umbrella term for any multi-gender sexual orientation. Under the bi umbrella, we have pansexual, which refers to people who are attracted to multiple or all genders. Often people who are pansexual consider themselves gender blind and how they experience attraction. Asexual or ace is a term used by people who experience less, little or no sexual attraction to others. It is an umbrella term for a spectrum of different levels of attraction. Q stands for queer and is an umbrella term which describes sexual orientations and gender identities other than straight and cisgender. Queer is a multi-purpose term that can describe who you are, who you love, what you watch or read, or where you hang out. Queer also acts like the plus to refer to any genders and sexualities not currently honoured with their own letter and acronym. Queer is a reclaimed term something LGBTQ plus people are given a new meaning and power to. It was formerly used as a slur towards the community, and still is today. Many queer people love and own the term, while some others prefer terminology like LGBTQ plus. Never call someone queer, unless you know that is the word they use for themselves. That's it. Hope everything is much clearer now.